Well, it's time again for the annual Neighborhood Coat Drive. This year is going to be the fifth annual Coat Drive. And this year we are excited uh, to partner with uh, Kelly Carpenter. And she is with uh, Community, let me make sure I get it right, Crossline uh, Community Outreach. And what's exciting is she happens to live in the neighborhood as well. So, Kelly, tell us a little bit about yourself and about uh, Crossline Community Outreach. Sure. Thank you so much. Um, I am Kelly Carpenter, and I'm the Director of Development and Marketing at Crosslines Community Outreach, and we are located in Kansas City, Kansas, in the Armordale neighborhood. Um, the agency has been around since 1963, um, providing um, a, a, a wide variety of services to people who are experiencing the hardships of poverty. Mm -hmm. Kelly, and I think that's uh, what the neighbors who donate the coats, you know, really uh, like about uh, participating in this is because they know that the coats are going to Kansas Cityans in need. Um, can you tell us uh, what your typical, do you call it a client? I don't know what your typical person or family is that you guys help out. Um, we really serve a wide variety of people um, in Wyandotte County. Um, about 25% of people live in poverty. So it can be everything from someone who has a job and just doesn't have enough to make ends meet. Um, they're working multiple jobs um, and need some assistance um, to, to um, manage their finances. Um, our hunger relief programs include, we have a community kitchen that provides breakfast and lunch five days a week, um, hot meals. And then we also have a community market which served 26,000 people last year. And it's it's a new model for a food pantry where people come in and shop for the items that they need most for their home um, and their family. So if you are a mom and you have kids who don't wanna eat peas, we don't just give you a box of food with peas in it. We let you come in and shop for the things that, that you most need um, and that you know are appropriate for your family. It's fantastic. Yeah. Um, well, we, I'm, I'm guessing you need coats of all sizes, children's, adults, anything to help pe keep people warm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, most definitely. We have a lot of families who come to us for help from our clothing closet. Uh, I would say more than anything, adult coats are what's most needed. Um, and so, but like I said, we serve a lot of families as well. So any coats are very much appreciated. And during these cold times, it's it's really important. Another service that we provide, we actually have a warming center. Um, so we can provide coats to people who come that, to cross lines to keep warm during the day. Lots of need in February in Kansas, it's cold. And I know a lot of places, you know, um, go through their coats before February hits. So we like to restock um, those closets for for you guys. Before we jump to the details of the event itself and the coat collection, is there anything else you'd like to tell us about your organization? Yes, I would love to let people know that there are, if you're wanting to help, there are a whole lot of different volunteer opportunities available through our organization. Whether you would like to come down and help prepare a meal and serve, we serve meals to go. If you're interested in, in distributing meals, um, we need people to help out in our community market that I mentioned earlier. Um, there are also activities you can do with your kids at home, whether it's preparing sack lunches. We have sack lunches for people to pick up in their morning on their way to work. Um, so that's another great way you can help from home or putting together dignity kits. Um, so there's a, a number of different volunteer opportunities available. And I would encourage people who want to get involved and, and help and meet the need to visit our website, which is um, cross-lines.org. Fantastic. We'll go ahead. We'll put that in the show notes below. And I know that you're going to be uh, at the Code Drive as well this coming Saturday, February 5th, down at Shannon Valley Park. We are there uh, from 2 to 3. You'll probably see throughout the neighborhood our, uh, our yard signs uh, that we always have. So uh, we are uh, looking forward. People can come down. They can talk to you if they have any questions. Uh, Absolutely. With, with any questions as well. So we are really excited that we're able to partner with you. You're going to have your big truck down there. I we are. 
Last year, we had a whole lot of coach. We had to get some uh, additional uh, pickup trucks uh, and some minivans. We're glad that, uh, to be able to partner with you. And uh, we look forward to seeing you uh, this Saturday. down at I look forward to being there. And I thank you both for what you're doing for the community. It's very much appreciated. All right, thank Absolutely. you.